Go ahead, yeah. Are we working with those microphones again today? Okay, you all know the story then. If you raise your hand, I call you out and then wait for the microphone to get there and that lady in the pink. Yeah, right there. Hi. Oh, it's working. Okay. This lady here then first. I would like to know, um, a lot of the fans have discussed this and we've dis discussed it with some of the former writers of the show as well. Um, what are the chances, um, I should say, um, just wondering, well, do you think that the film will address the events of the series? Or do you think that because of the need for a um, mass audience appeal, there's a possibility that the film could be completely independent of the series? Provided there is going to be a film, and I hope there is. I certainly hope they use the same cast. Um, Whether it would be an idea from the series or a continuation of the series kind of thing, or whether it would be completely independent, I think would depend on uh, who the producers would be, if Coslo would be a part of it, if Republic Pictures would be a part of it, and if CBS would be a part of it. We don't know. Uh, well, don't know. What do I think they should do? <laughs> Well, I'd like to see the movie get made soon. Yeah, I need a job. <laughs> and, uh, I know Perlman does, and Patrice. And, you know, I, I think, uh, well, Linda's not real hurting right now, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I'd like to see the movie get made eventually, soon. Some, sometime in the next year, I guess. Um, and I hope Coslo writes it. I'd like to see that happen. And I'd like to see him produce it as well. So. We'll and, as, and as far as who to direct it, um, Vic, Victor Lobel or Gus Traconis, either one of the two. Either yeah. one of the two. Yeah. Hi, go ahead. Am I on? There I am. Um, did you, as um, Joe Maxwell, or you, pers you personally get frustrated in the show of always being kept in the dark about Vincent? I mean, after a while, I would have got frustrated. It was like, you know, especially when it came to Diana, because Diana was so secretive, and you knew she knew something. And I felt sorry for you. It's like, okay, tell me something. Well, you're talking about now. In the first, uh, wait, give her the microphone back because I need to know some. All right. Well, I don't. Uh, um, in the in the first, in the first two seasons, in other words, when I had Linda. Right. But when, um, yeah, I was kept in the dark pretty much. Right. Uh, and, and yeah, I was I was a little bit frustrated and I became when I when I really got frustrated about it is when, when Linda disappeared. Right. At Linda's disappearance and then and then the investigation started. And with Joe Anderson, then then I started to pick up little drips and drabs, you know, and I and I started to figure out kind of what the hell was going on. And I thought that was going someplace and then <laughs> the show ended. So <laughs> But did you want it, you wanted to know? I mean, you knew there was a Vincent, and you didn't. They didn't tell you anything else. Yeah. Well, see, I, I've often said this at, at other conventions. I said, um, "There's a rule on Beauty and the Beast. You meet Vincent, you die." I never wanted to die. I never, I never wanted to die on the show <laughs> for obvious reasons. And um, oh, let's see. I think, I think we could have stretched that, that frustration out for over another year, huh? What do you think? Okay. Uh, there's a Holly Rydell here. She needs to go outside, please. Sorry, no, this is serious, I guess. So Somebody's waiting for you outside, Holly. Yes, hi. White shirt, yes. Going like this. Yes, you. Yes. I, I, I am. <laughs> Hello. Uh, the way the direction was going in the show, do you think Joe was going to be finally let into the secret? Well, yeah, I think eventually, but I would have liked to have stretched it out as long as possible. Uh, I mean, we were we were talking about tunnels and roses and uh, all kinds of things. We got we had a slab of concrete with Vincent's name on. We had all kinds of little things happening. 
And um, yeah, I think eventually I would have I would have met Vincent. Um, in fact, uh, Ron Coslow had mentioned it to me for the third season. Uh, had it gone on, at the end of the third season, it would have been part of the cliffhanger, I guess, that I meet Vincent. Yeah. It, it was talked about. It was talked about. It never came to fruition, so forget it. A lot of things were talked about. Hi. It, it, either one. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll go one and then second. One of the things I always liked about Joe is that he was so ethical and they called him a straight shooter and everything like that. And yeah, he was a hell of a guy, wasn't he? Yeah. 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 He was a real all-American guy, you know, cape with his other suit and all that. Um, I was a little surprised in, in the third season when he um, started sort of running wild with his heart and doing things like <laughs> storming the richest man in the county's house and everything without a lot of really hard evidence. Did you feel frustrated with having to take a break from Joe's, I gotta have more information, I gotta have this, I gotta have that, and sort of running, we gotta get this guy because he hurt Kathy? Okay, I'm not, I'm not sure I understand the question. Did I, did I get frustrated as Joe? Yeah, was Joe frustrated because he was such a straight shooter and he was like, Kathy, I gotta have more information to book this guy. You gotta give me more than this to convict this guy. And then all of a sudden, he's taking. Yeah, well, Joe was. Yeah, well, Joe basically was a by the book, a by the book DA. And in order to present a case, in order to win a case, you have to present a good case, or you're not gonna win. And that's what Joe was all about. And that's what he tried to tell Catherine, and that's what he was telling Joe Anderson, Diane, and. Uh, yeah, there was a certain amount of frustration there, and I hope it came out in the work. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yes, yeah, you. This working? Okay. Now it's up. Uh, <laughs> this ties in with that. Joe, being such a by the book DA, if he did meet Vincent and became involved in the violence that Vincent seems to get involved with, um, do you think Joe would have had a problem in covering that up? and not bringing the, all these things that have been covered up and bringing brought to justice, would Joe have had a problem keeping it secret? I would like to think that he wouldn't. I would like to think that he wouldn't have had a problem. I mean, he would have had a problem. He would have had an, uh, uh, a struggle within himself to, to, to keep it a secret, but I think possibly out of his love for Catherine that he would keep it a secret. Enjoy the music video last night you were in? Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, that was really neat. It really was. I never saw myself in a music video before. And, and, uh, you know, I just came from Epcot and I saw Michael Jackson do EO. That was pretty neat. But anyway, but that was nothing like that. Anyway, um, you know, it was really nice to see to see myself in, a, in, in one of the videos. I'm sorry? Oh, oh, thank you. Now, now, some, well, I, uh, yeah, uh, Pam, t I guess Pam told me that, uh, I, I wanted to get a copy, in fact, of that one last night. I don't know whether I can or not, because I don't know, it belongs to somebody else or something. she made a video, she made a copy for you. Really? Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, great. Yeah, no, I, I really enjoyed that last night. I, I figured, oh, here we go, another video. Joe's not in it. And then all of a sudden, wait, I feel this slam in the arm by Perlman. Hey, there you are! Oh, there it is! There it is! We got him on! That was really me. I, I appreciate it. Thank you very much.